Hello, everybody. Hi. My name is Mr. Lino. And I'm Mrs. Tovares. Mrs. Tovares, thank you so very much for joining us. My pleasure. I'm so happy to be here to talk about music. I love talking about music, actually. I love to listen to music and talk about it and make music and make my own songs and dance to music. I'm That's almost always listening to music of some kind. <laughs> Amazing! So you also play music? Well, I used to, but when I say make music, uh -huh. I mean just kind of my own spontaneous song about whatever I'm doing or, you know, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Funny moments like that. Okay, wonderful. And you're here to tell us a little bit about what you are listening to, yeah, right? Yeah, so recently, I've been, well, not recently, for, for the last many, many years, I've been listening to country music. And there's one song in particular that recently I have been listening to quite a bit. Do you listen to country music ever? Well, sometimes I do. And it's, 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 very, it's very romantic. And I feel that it's telling a story that touches your heart. Yes, absolutely. That's one of the reasons I love country music. Why I was first drawn to it is because I heard the stories in, in the songs. And um, I like the sound too. I have to be honest, the twang, the instruments, you can hear them are unique and you don't hear them in all kinds of music. I understand that country music was born in the United States, am I right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was uh, really, historians think, it got its start in the 1920s or the 1930s. And probably in the Appalachian Mountain region where we have states like Virginia, North and South Carolina, Tennessee, those states. Yeah, and, and in those times, in the 1920s and 30s, you know, not every instrument that we know today was invented. And so people really used their rural dance sounds and blues and, um, and bluegrass music to, to, get, to really create uh, country music into what it is today. So it, it, it comes from the, the, the expression of the people. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Not necessarily like, like, like musicians that were performing in big concert halls or... Most likely it was just people getting together wanting to create a beautiful sound with the instruments that they had. In fact, iconic instruments of country music are music, instruments we've known for a long time, like the fiddle or the mandolin. Uh, sometimes you hear a harmonica or a Jew's harp or mouth harp. Uh, those kinds of instruments are, are really old and, and you still hear them in country music today, along with more, you know, things we know like a guitar or a bass, banjo. That's another really Banjos. common instrument in country music. Yeah. Now, Ms. Tavares, can you tell us a little bit about this particular song that you're listening to? Yeah, so the song I've been listening to that I have on repeat a lot is called Life That's Good. And it's, um, it's, it's sung by two sisters. Their names are Lennon and Macy. They, they're actually really talented young ladies. They act in, in television. They um, write their own music sometimes. They both play instruments. And when you listen to them sing this song, because they're sisters and their voices are very similar, you can hear the harmonies in what they're singing. And, and it sounds so tight, like those two voices blend so beautifully. That's another thing about country music I really love is the, the harmonies that you hear. It's, it's, like, um, it's like the most delicious sound in your ears to hear those, those voices layered together. So this song, as I mentioned, is called Life That's Good. And what I really love about it is something that I also think is true of country music is that um, it's telling a story, it's talking about the things that really matter in our lives, the things we love. And this song in particular talks about simple things, simple things like spending time with the people who matter to us, the people who can give us a hug. Two arms to hold me is one of the lines in the song. And um, talking about just spending time together. And I think I really, I really love that mm -hmm. about this particular song, but also about life in general, you know? The things that make me happy aren't the biggest and fanciest things. It's really just like, simple conversations like this and you know the people that I love spending time with them it isn't about the latest technology mm -hmm. you know? and so I really love that about this song in particular besides the harmonies and also the beautiful instruments that you can hear in it thank you so much I think it would be fantastic if we invited yes, the absolutely. audience 
people at the Met to listen to some country music and to listen to this song in particular. Yeah, I definitely agree. And if you find a country song that you really love, because there's beautiful classic country that has been around and we all know, you know, um, from very famous, famous uh, artists. I'm trying to think of um, Johnny Cash is one mm -hmm. of them. Those are the classics. But then also we get down to the newer stuff here and that has a different sound but also very classic country so i hope you try it i hope you like it if you find something that you think i would like please share it with me i'd love to find out what you're listening to thank you very much Mrs. Awesome. thank you Ms. <laughs> and thank you for listening and watching have a good day bye bye, bye.